I got over 50 new brawlers in Brawl Stars, and here's how I did it. Free to play progression has changed a lot lately, since you can't get the Brawl Pass for free anymore. So I wanted to see if the game was still playable for free to play players. With the announcement of the Brawl Days calendar, I knew this is my chance to get as much progression as possible. I got 1650 gold, 150 power points, 90 credits, 10 gems, a PSG Shelly skin from a legendary star drop, which was cool, but more importantly, I also unlocked two brawlers for free, Miko and Colt. Dark Angel Colt was the free Supercell Mix skin, and if you don't already have the brawler, you can also get that for free as well. I also managed to unlock Barley by linking my Brawl Stars account with a Supercell ID. That's three free brawlers right from the start. On day one, I decided to go with my new and shiny Colt to take on this journey where I experience what free to play players go through. And I lost my very first game. <laughs> Wait a second. Let's rewind. I haven't told you my end goal for the first day. So in Brawl Stars, we have daily quests, season quests, and special events, all of which you can unlock after 300 trophies on the trophy road. Without these quests, you don't gain extra XP, which would normally allow you to progress through the free and paid tiers of the Brawl Pass. That means that I might be missing out on a lot of progression if I don't unlock them today, as tomorrow is the final day of the Bizarre Circus season, and you'll be risking losing a lot of your rewards. Well, back to the present. I started off with Colts, which started off terribly, but then I started racking up some wins. After a few of them, I managed to get enough trophies to unlock Nita, buy the credits from the trophy road, and started working on unlocking my next brawler, El Primo. I was surprised by the daily gift feature. I did not know that that existed in Brawl Stars, and as a result, I even got Bandita Shelly for free. A few more games in, and I was able to unlock our favorite luchador and started working on unlocking Jesse. Once I was able to do my daily quest, I decided to swap over to Shelly as I needed to complete hers. With Shelly, things were smooth as games were fast and thankfully very uneventful. What's cool though is that I even managed to get both Jesse and Poco one after the other. I felt like I had a lot of coins so I decided to upgrade Colt before moving on to the big man himself. 200 trophies was the goal and with Primo, I knew that it was just a matter of time. With team events open, I now have access to more modes than before, which is always very welcome. I decided to swap back onto Colt to hit my last two milestones rather quickly. At 250 trophies, I got access to all those season quests that I was looking for in order to get all that progression. And the cherry on top was at 300 trophies where I unlocked the weekend event quests as well. Today, we're gonna finish every single season quest that I can possibly do. There's a lot to get through, so since I have Colt out already, I thought I'd do some backyard Colt. This allowed me to finish a few quests and get a lot of credits towards unlocking Jackie. I did notice that Jesse had many quests and she's really broken at lower levels. Bots tend to move in rather predictable patterns at the start of the game, so you can easily farm your super, and after that first goal, they clump up together, which makes Jesse a big monster early on. After a few wins, I managed to get 450 credits from the trophy road, and I finally unlocked Jackie, which was nice. But even Bull was unlocked, which was really amazing. There were some insane moments as well where i caught a ton of xp and that's gonna give me so much more progression and resources since i finished the jesse quest i decided to play some primo for a bit as he had numerous quests and cavern and primo is hella fun i had some close calls the third party here no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, okay. But I made some progress here nonetheless. However, I did get a bit bored with Primo as the monkey man caught my eye. Miko is a bit bugged. Ems, what's up, Ems? And his power scaling with power cubes makes zero sense, so I decided to roll with him for a little bit, and I upgraded him to be a menace in Showdown. On the whole, Miko was going great, till a bow and B team completely took me out, and that didn't look so good for my own team. But 
Somehow, this lone bought Barley, Hachi Boo Boo, clutched up massively with a super and gave us the dub, which was absolutely unexpected. A few minutes later, I was able to unlock one of the most terrifying brawlers in this meta, Bo. I got him from the trophy road and there were so many credits that I even got my main man Brock. Another game in and I got a ton of XP from finishing season quests that allowed me to unlock Dynamite as well. That's three brawlers in less than five minutes and I'm feeling amazing right now. Miko had been quite lucky for me and I had a really good feeling about him, but that feeling didn't last long as I was overconfident and died which killed my win streak. At that moment, I felt really bad so I decided that I needed a small break and decided to cut my losses on the monkey. After a little respite, I noticed that I had so many showdown quests and there's also a primo quest as well. So even though I hate showdown, it's time to rack up that XP. It was time for the luchador to take center stage once more and I started winning a lot again. My win streak was also back up to 5 which gets me more trophies. And I also got a lot of monster XP gains, first with 2010 XP then 2500 and finally 2510 to cap it off. With primo out of the way I decided to pick up a bipolar bartender as it was his turn to enter the pub. He just needed two wins and that went without any real issue. And for our last season quest, I decided to go with Shelly to cap it off. At 650 trophies, you get 430 credits and I really felt like I was going to get M's, but I was six credits short. At 750 trophies though, you get some more credits, so the new goal now is to get those credits and I decided it's time for some monkey retribution. I went back into showdown and I did have some close calls, but overall, it went over quite smoothly. After a lot of wins, I managed to get to 763 trophies and unlock B from the trophy of road rewards. And I also got Rosa, which is awesome. That's a total of eight brawlers today and things are definitely looking up. On day three, I had a small surprise as it's something that I completely forgot about. I got Penny for free from the daily gift tree, which is such a nice feature. With the Star Tune season commencing, we'll get a lot of rewards early on, but it will get harder as we don't have a bajillion season quests to do just yet. The goal today is to get to 1000 trophies, and I'll explain later why. I was raring to try out my shiny new brawler Penny in gem grab, and since we're facing bots, the matches weren't exactly challenging. After a while, I noticed that I had a new seasonal quest for duo showdown, which would net me a lot of XP, so I took my trusty pirate in there to claim that XP as soon as possible. Once I finished my quest with Penny, I pivoted to the Bombaholic Miner instead. I upgraded Dynamag to power 7 as he can now get Satchel Charge, a gadget that lets you stun enemy brawlers for a little bit. I played Dynamag for a while and it went very swimmingly. I got a lot of team wipes and a lot of kills. Dynamite with his stuns and super was completely dominating these matches. Now I'm at the 100 trophy games and it feels like nothing can go wrong. I have a 34 game win streak and I was supremely confident about this match being pretty easy. And then this happened. Nice. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 no, yes, no, no, yes, yes. Oh my God, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes. Okay, let's do it. Oh my god. I honestly felt like I earned those thousand trophies. And with this milestone, I now have enough credits from the Star Road to unlock Carl. The goal for the fourth day is to get to a 50 win streak and also to finish boss fight and the daily quest. I started off with Penny once again. But this time, instead of going for trophies, I decided to do some map maker as you get 30 free XP per day for it and those really do add up. In a year, that's almost 11,000 XP. After a couple minutes, we were done with Penny's quest and now I wanted to try my hand at boss fight. I knew that bull deals a lot of damage to the boss bot and this is where I made my first mistake. I used 1040 coins to upgrade bull from power 1 to power 7 and bull fared 
terribly on boss fight. I felt like his HP was very low and almost a few ticks of damage away from death so many times. I then remembered that I had a power 7 Colt, so I decided to course correct a little bit. I took Colt, got him to power it, and since I hadn't unlocked any gears just yet, I got his reload gear for free, which would have otherwise cost me 1500 coins, and then I further upgraded Colt to power 9. And then I noticed my second mistake. Colt was dishing out a lot of damage consistently. As expected, I was using the wrong gadget. I bought Silver Bullet a few days earlier so that I could break walls easily, but for this, I needed Speed Loader. I really wanted to buy that since I failed Boss Fight Master. Give me a set. <sighs> Super wasted. I need to take out this spot. No, oh, 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 I am so close to dying. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah! And if that was hard, insane boss fight would seem impossible. I didn't want to spend a thousand coins, so I decided to soldier on and see if I could manage to clear boss fight insane. It was really annoying since we had an 8-bit that insisted on using his turret repeatedly to tank the boss rather than use a turret for damage. As long as he doesn't do- Why are you keeping on doing that? Just put the turret down in a good place. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Luckily though, I did manage to finish these quests and gained 500 XP for all of that hard work. Now, back to the main goal for today, which is getting to a 50 win streak. I decided to start playing Bull once more, as he's already power 7, so getting 11 wins on him should be pretty doable. This felt like a lot of fun as I could charge and cycle my supers very easily against opponents. There's just something about dashing across the map that is super satisfying. After maybe 10 minutes, I managed to get to my 50 streak game, and I also managed to get a kit in my lobby too, which was overkill. We managed to make pretty quick work of the enemy team, and I officially got to a 50 win streak for my first time in Brawl Stars. On day 5, I received a free penny pin for my daily gift, and tomorrow, I can upgrade penny to power 7. For now though, I have a few goals. Basically, I want to get to 1750 trophies and get as many brawlers up to 100 trophies. To do this, I started off by playing with Brock on Duo Showdown. With the 50 win streak, a win basically gives you not 9 trophies, but 9 plus 5, which is a total of 14 trophies per win. So I was pretty inspired. and. And you know, this is just under 100 trophies, so the game should be fairly simple, right? But then this happened. I thought I could just rush mid and camp. No, 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 move, no! Moonlight! But then I died and my teammate couldn't even survive till I respawned. And that was the end of my 52 win streak. At this point, I was rather demoralized, but I decided I needed to get this done. So I steeled myself for some more games with the OG Rizzler in Brawl Ball instead for some familiarity. Since things started going swimmingly once more, I decided to keep using Brock in Brawl Ball till I finished the kill quest that I was on. And with the predictability of the bot movement, I was able to pull myself out of this rut finally. Now that I've gotten over the hump, I wanted to get some of the other brawlers up to 100 trophies so I started working on them. I was pretty confident with Penny and I only needed a few more wins to secure those trophies so I brought her into Brawl Ball and as expected the games went without any incident really. Jesse was the next brawler on the block and she only needed 3 wins to get to 100. The Junker is a really great brawler against opponents who clump up so it was pretty straightforward getting the job done. Barley was my next brawler of choice and like the others so far, I already played with him a bit already. It was evident that with his last call, along with his splash damage, the bot had no chance whatsoever, and we easily steamrolled our opponents to 100 trophies. The Boxing Botanist was the next pick, as at this trophy range, brawlers that deal splash damage are definitely one of the best, and with Rosa, you can just walk up to enemies and lay waste to them, especially after popping your super. 
super. Bo is one of the strongest brawlers in this meta, and I was pretty confident that with him in my arsenal, these matches are as good as over. He is so dominant, and he also does a little spread damage along with his supers doing a lot, so Bo made quick work of his opponent. This was a really great day for trophy pushing, and my streak is back up to the 30s after that loss early on. I am still not done, I still need a little over 100 trophies in order to hit my goal for the day, and I felt that Jackie would be the one to take me there. Obviously without her counter crust star power and umatic booster, Jackie feels slightly underwhelming, but I think that with some good pulls, you can help your teammates get into great positions to make goals. Things seemingly started off great, I pulled in teams and got a few kills, and made it very easy for my boss to score. This all changed though, when I got a random Shelly who kept making the games much scarier than they actually were. But all in all, it went rather smoothly, with most games today ending within 30 to 40 seconds. Today was super productive and I got over 550 trophies in an under an hour of play and now I finally get the fruits of my labor. I got a lot of resources from Star Road and a boatload of credits, still shy of what I need to get. The stew. Maybe tomorrow is the day. Yesterday, we lost our win streak, but today, I'm super optimistic. The goal for day 6 is to get to another milestone, which is 2,000 trophies. Right off the bat, we get the free penny upgrade to power 7 with the free gift, and that will give me a lot of room to work with penny in the future. But for now, seeing as I have some quests to do, I decided to take bull first, and right off the bat, I had a nightmare of a game. My arch nemesis, a primo named 4. Point space underscore 3, made an appearance, and despite his NPC name, he wasn't a bot. My man did not want to walk the ball in. Let me show you. Should get this do it here and then I'm gonna go for the poco got the kill on the poco as well and I am lagging and that is not the best sign what is primo doing what is bro doing primo why are you pushing the ball back we had a nice opportunity to get a goal and you just decided to push the ball back primo is just the worst man primo you can score this just walk it in buddy Walk it in! Walk it in! Walk it in! Oh my god. What are you doing? What is this whole lobby? What is even happening here? What is happening? Bro. Primo! Enough of the rage now. I played a few more games with Bull and finished his quests. Jackie was the next brawler with 5 wins as a quest requirement, and I didn't want to risk my streak, but I also wanted to get the free 30 XP from Mapmaker, so I just ran with it for a couple minutes. Another brawler that I need to get to 100 was Carl. And since he does pierce damage, he can do quite a lot of work. So with the streak active, I only need 8 wins to get Carl to 100. And I did exactly that. Everybody's favorite Beyblading Geologist was kind of running through the lobbies and it made it seem super easy. Now, we only need to get one more brawler to 100 trophies and that's B. She might be a little difficult to play though since she does single target damage only. And we also lucked out with the daily star drop. Mythic? Oh! Did we get B? We- Oh, we already had B but we get the new B skin. I find it very hard to hit consecutive shots on bots since they sometimes move super weirdly. But with B, I was able to finally tie my max streak that I lost yesterday. So that's pretty nifty. Without dropping a single goal, I managed to safely get B to 100 trophies. Because I hit 2000, I was awarded 925 credits from the trophy road, which will allow me to unlock one epic brawler. And I was thinking of Stu all this time, but I think that Frank is a superior choice, especially for lower level ladder, honestly. So I'ma just go with that. It's the final day off the first week, and I want to get to 2300 trophies today. We have some duo showdown quests, and today's map is Skull Creek, and that means it's time for some... Kapali! 
The walls make this map really good, and any thrower would be amazing here, but we have to be careful about brawlers like Kit and Edgar. It started off great. We just kept killing brawlers one after the other and racked up 12 power cubes in our first game. The second, however, went completely sideways. Let me show you. No, that's a Kit. I don't want that. No! No, 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 no. Oh my god, no! No! No, no, no! No! Kit, no! I don't want this. Why? Why? And that's where our 62 win streak died. And I just wanted to get to 69. I continued on with Dinah, and now all I could do is pray that I don't face a Kit, since there is zero counterplay against a Kit. I managed to get back to winning form and I got a few more wins, but my confidence got the best of me once again and we ended up losing. That's okay though since I was genuinely enjoying Dynamite and once I was done with a duo quest, I brought out the Shelly to the mix to finish off my gem grab kill quest, which was light work for her. Frank is untouched right now, but in 8 games, he will be 104 trophies, which will get us within striking distance of our goal for this week. The zombie DJ is another brawler that does spread damage and with his super he can stun multiple enemies and break walls these abilities allowed us to speed run through the games for frank and he finished his job really quick we made some questionable plays here and there and the final brawler making an appearance this week is nita what i love about nita is bruce and his ability to pressure tanks a lot she is one of my favorite brawlers but she isn't that strong in the current meta, sadly. Regardless, I didn't have too many incidents and was able to get Nita to 104 trophies, but more importantly, get to that 2300 trophy goal. And now for all the juicy rewards, or so I thought. Star drop. Please be more than, nope, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be a rare. It's gonna be some power points, nice. Please be more than super rare. Okay, it's super rare. It's 100 coins. Okay, please, 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 credits, 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 credits. Points. See y'all next week for more.